What is up, Brace fans? My name is Owen, and welcome back to the Ben Fender Podcast. First off, happy St. Paddy's Day. I am wearing green. That's that is why I'm wearing green. And this the Packers sweater. So, getting into the race at Bristol. So the first stage was 125 laps. And uh, Ryan Blaney and Josh Berry were on the front row. Uh, Ryan Blaney takes the initial lead. Then Josh Berry takes the lead. After that, uh, William Byron gets into the wall. Uh, Then Denny Hamlin takes the lead. And the first caution of the day for Debris, as when William Byron hit the wall, he kind of took off a decal from the wall and then it left his car. So that was the first of many cautions for the race. Uh, after that, right, uh, Tyler Reddick takes the lead as he did not pit. Uh, but uh, Josh Berry won the race off pit road. Then uh, Tyler Reddick spins and collects Corey LeJoy, AJ Ombudinger, Daniel Hemrick, Zane Smith, and Carson Hosevar. Also had spins of their own, but Smith just ran right into Reddick. That brings out the second caution. Uh, after that, Bubba Wallace takes the lead. Then Josh Berry takes the lead. Then Bubba Wall Street takes the lead. Then Denny Hamlin takes the lead. Then uh, Chase Elliott takes the lead. Then Kyle Busch takes the lead. After that, Zane Smith blows a tire and creates the second debris caution of the race and the third caution of the race. Um, on the pit stops, Denny Hamlin won the race off pit road. After that, Ryan Blaney took the lead. Then Denny Hamlin retook the lead. Then Ryan Blaney retook the lead. Then Ty Gibbs took the lead. Then Denny Hamlin gets up and hits the wall, but keeps going. Then Kyle Busch spins, bringing out the fourth caution and ending stage one with Ty Gibbs, your winner. At the end of stage one, there was nine cars a lap down. Whew. A lot happened in the first stage, but even more happened the rest of the race. This was one of my favorite rate Bristol races I remember. It was just insane. So, getting to stage two, it was 125 laps. Uh, Kyle Larson won the race off pit road. Then uh, Ty Gibbs takes the lead. Martin Truex Jr. takes the lead. Kyle Larson takes the lead. Gibbs retakes the lead. Hamlin takes the lead. Gibbs retakes the lead. Then uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. gets into the wall and then collects um, Hemrick and Zane Smith, bring out the uh, fifth caution of the race. Uh, Chris Buescher won the race off pit road. Ty Gibbs got a equipment interference penalty. So he had to start at the tail end. Uh, Christopher Bell ends up taking the lead. Then Daniel Suarez gets loose under uh, Justin Haley and they make contact. But nothing happens after that. Then Martin Truex Jr. takes the lead. Then uh, Zane Smith uh, ends up going behind the wall. He ends up retiring from the race a little bit later. But he just had a bad day. Caught up in stuff that wasn't his fault, but I mean the first the first accident he was involved in. I don't know how he could have like I don't know how he got into it. Honestly, like he just dr- drove straight into Reddick. Like he just I mean wh- uh, wh- I don't know what he was thinking. Um, after that, uh, Kyle Busch, uh, spins again, bringing out the sixth caution. Uh, Christopher Bell takes the lead. 
that Kyle Busch got a safety violation penalty and Ryan Blaney got a too fast entering penalty. Um, after that, Joey Logano takes the lead. Then Ty Gibbs takes the lead. And Ty Gibbs wins stage two. And Ty Gibbs won both stage one and two. Sweeping both the stages. And at the end of stage two, there was a, there was one car out of the race. And six cars a lap down. And that changed by the end. So, getting on to stage three, it was 250 laps. Uh, Austin Sindrick makes contact with Brad Kozlowski on pit road. It was kind of a heavy hit for Kozlowski. And Sindrick, to be honest. Because it was kind of... As Kozlowski was coming out of his box, Sindrick was was turning down to go into his and just c collided. It was just chaos on pit road, though. Uh, and with that, uh, Ty Gibbs won the race off pit road. Then Martin Truex Jr. takes the lead. Then Josh Berry spins, creating the seventh caution of the race. Uh, Denny Hamlin won the race off pit road. Uh, Ty Gibbs takes the lead. Then Noah Gregson uh, hits the wall, but continues going. Then Denny Hamlin takes the lead. And after that, uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. spins off Austin Sindrick after getting uh, basically rear-ended by Hamlin, bringing out the eighth caution of the race. Uh, Denny Hamlin ends up winning the race off pit road. But on that pit stop, Kyle Larson got a equipment interference penalty as one of his tires rolled into the other box and, and hitting one of the crew members on whoever was in the box in front of him. So he had to start at the tail end. He rallied back to finish in the top five. So um, amazing recovery from him for that. After that, uh, Ty Gibbs takes the lead. Then Denny Hamlin takes the lead. Then the first round of green flag pit stop start. With like around 60 laps to go in the race. Maybe a little more, a little less. Who knows? Uh, after that, Martin Truex Jr. takes the lead. Then Brad Kozlowski takes the lead. Then Alex Bowman takes the lead. Then Denny Hamlin retakes the lead. And with these green flag pit stops, this was the longest green flag uh, stint of the race, which we didn't have another caution after it. So there was, it was about a hundred laps, probably a little more like a hundred lap green flag run, which was insane. Um, after that, Martin Truex Jr. takes the lead. Then Denny Hamlin retakes the lead. And he had to swerve through a lot of uh, lap traffic near the end. And Denny Hamlin wins the Fall Bristol race. And this is the first time it's been on the concrete in like five years. Like four or five years, something like that. Because the last couple of years we've been doing the Bristol Dirt. So. Alright, so the top five and the only five cars who were on the lead lap were Denny Hamlin, Martin Truex Jr., Brad Kozlowski, Alex Bowman, and Kyle Larson. Uh, this is Denny Hamlin's second Bristol win in a row. As he won the um, spring. Oh no, this is the spring race. As he won last year's fall race. Um, and today's race. And uh, the last back-to-back uh, -back winner at Bristol was Kyle Busch in 2017 and 2018. Um, and this race was also, uh, 
a new record has been achieved as uh, this race marks um, the most lead changes in a Bristol and short track race in history. Like the last, um, like the previous record was 40 lead changes at Bristol. Which is wild to think of. But. Yeah. So. Honestly, the stories of this race were. Uh, Joe Gibbs Racing dominated like the whole race with Gibbs leading like around 150 laps or something like that. Don't remember the don't know the exact total, but like J Joe Gibbs Racing led like each of their drivers led more laps individually than the rest of the field combined in this race. So that was wild. Uh, the other headline was the tire wear, which was insanely high. Uh, higher than I've seen in recent memory. But like the the top three are all veterans who've who in their early careers raced with like high tire um wear in the first um what was I saying? <laughs> in their early careers or something. Yeah, something like that. So yeah, uh, other than that, this was an amazing race. Um, <laughs> honestly, one of the best one of the best Bristol races I've seen in a while. Um, so getting onto the right, my rating, I am probably gonna rate this a nine point five out of ten. It wasn't perfect. I kind of wanted to see at least one more big one. Or like one actual big one. Or like a bunch of cars gotten... Like at least 10 cars got involved or something, but... That's just me liking people crashing. Um, so... Other than that, that should be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, as well as go check out my other two channels. One being my main of Fanran Tan, and the other one being a D&D &D one where me and my friends play Dungeons & Dragons. That is under the Boundless Shores. We did get that name change. Um, so, uh, join me next week when I review... The Coda Race, or Circuit of the Americas. From Texas. So, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace.